Hey everybody, my name is Lindsay and I'm coming to you from Baltimore, Maryland. So welcome across the nation. Thank you for joining me today. Today's class will be rise and restore. We'll kind of take it nice and slow. Just listen to your body, get yourself nice and stretched out and be ready for the rest of your day. So whenever you're ready, come meet me on your mat. We're gonna start on our backs first. Give yourself a nice big hug here. And kind of wrap side to side. Feeling where your tension points along the body. All right, go ahead and drop that right foot down. We're going to hug this left knee to our chest. Give yourself a big hug as we extend the right leg down towards the bottom of the mat. And then begin a few circles here. Just really warming up the hip joint. Welcome to everybody that's joining us. Feel free to come on down to the mat. We're warming up our hips. And switch directions if you haven't already. All right, let's take a deep inhale, pause in here, and then pull that knee to your chest, sending the energy through the left knee and the right heel. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Good. Give it another pull, releasing the lower back here. And exhale, release. One more, big, big, big pull. And release. Go ahead and bend this right knee up. We're going to cross this left foot over top of the right leg. And then we're going to push on that left inner thigh, releasing an internal and external hip rotators. As we go through class today, make sure you're taking deep inhales belly, and with the exhale, releasing through the mouth. Maybe you find that your mind begins to calm, your body begins to relax. So deepen those inhales and extend those exhales. All right, begin to thread the needle. If you're there today, lift up that right foot, hug onto the back of the right thigh, and allow this left knee to come to the outside of the ribcage, Pull that left, I mean that right leg in closer. Now you should feel a beautiful outside hip stretch on the left. And if you'd like to extend this, you can straighten the right leg up towards the ceiling. Find a point that's nice and comfortable for your body today. I feel very relaxed. You may find that your shoulders and neck is holding tension. So release the back of the shoulders down. And loosen your neck. Release the jaw. Open the cheek. We're going to drop this right foot down towards the mat. We're going to Relax the left one, and then we're going to hug that right knee into our chest and give a few rotations. If you'd like, extend that left leg out from the bottom. Up to you. Warm and open the synovial fluid in this joint, and switch directions if you haven't already. As you take a breath, bring that right knee up towards your chest, extending through the left heel. Exhale and release. Good. Deep breath in through the belly, pulling and releasing that lower back. Exhale, relax. Inhale, last one here. And exhale, relax. Still holding on to that right leg, bend the left knee up, crossing the right ankle over top of the thigh and gently pushing down the right inner thigh here. Make sure you're flexing those right toes up and releasing the internal hip rotator. Here. Maybe 
Let's do hug on to that back of the left thigh. Thread the needle, keeping that right foot flexed. You should feel a nice pull on the outside of the right hip here. Stay here. You can extend that left leg straight up towards the ceiling. That's for you. Keep breathing in, feeling the belly and chest lift. And exhale, releasing the shoulders and neck. Try not to move any tension in the body. And all the muscles just to relax here and soften into the mat. Here, exhale, relax, plant the left foot down. Right and left feet go to the outsides of the mat, and we're going to rock our knees from side to side. Make sure we're bringing them here. Then gently pulling the feet back in. We're going to give the back of the body a nice stretch here. Bring the feet together, heels as close as you can to the glutes. You're going to give a few pelvic tilts, lifting your pelvic off the mat and then tucking so your back is nice and flat. Good. Kind of move very softly back and forth. Anteriorly and posteriorly tilting the pelvis. You may find your lower back releases a little here. Keep that that, uh, put the posterior pelvic tilt here, tucking the belly into your spine. Squeeze in the glutes, let's lift the hips and stretch the back of the body here. From as high as you feel comfortable, you can even interlace your hands underneath of your glutes and then push up even higher. Making sure to look between your knees that you can see the top of your thighs here. Slowly release and unlacing if you're up, then lowering middle back, lower back, and tailbone. Good. Go ahead and wrap yourself very gently onto the right or left side, whatever's comfortable, and then push yourself up. We're going to come onto all fours. We're going to use a few pat cows, warming up the spine a little bit more. So take a deep inhale and look between the knees, rounding the back, tucking the tailbone, and exhale, extending, looking up. And inhale, tuck the knees. Exhale, extend. Bring some mobility to that spine. Move with the breath here. Let's give a little bit more movement. So now we're going to bring our hips down across and wiggle down towards the right side, sweep across the left. A little stretch in the shoulders and then we're back as well. Coming back neutral, let's sweep down towards the left and bring it all the way around. Coming back neutral. Tuck those toes. We're going to sweep wise through the hands and extend up. Hips lift towards the ceiling. Let's walk the dog out. Bending both knees back and forth. Relaxing your shoulders. Driving through the hands and out through the fingers. Good. Take a deep breath in. Plant those heels. We're going to roll the spine up. Right knee to our chest, extend back and alternate left and right. Okay, one more on the left. Send those hips up towards the sky and relax here. Take another deep breath in, bring the feet together, bring that right knee to your chest, and we're going to plant that right foot down, bring the left feet down, take a breath in, lift up. Nice hip flexor stretch. Now release the arms down towards the sides. 
Let's hug onto those hips. You might find that your back is extended. So let's tuck the tailbone here. Squeeze that left glute and shift forward. We're gonna rock back and forth as we squeeze that left glute. Opening up the front of the hip here. And release. Good. Stay nice and upright. We're going to take that left arm. We're going to reach up and over towards the right. We're on the left side of the rib cage. Let the hip release. I'd like you sink a little bit deeper. Just keep breathing and sending energy throughout the whole body here. And through the nose. Last breath here together. Exhale, hands will come down to the floor. We're going to walk that right foot out to the side. Hands on the inner part of the right foot. Extend that left leg and come up into a nice low runner's lunge. Good. If you'd like to, you can reach further into that right leg. Keep sending the energy through that left heel, finding what feels comfortable to you. You can always drop that bottom knee and lean forward. Take a breath, drop that left knee if it's lifted, and then we're going to flip those right toes up towards the ceiling. Now, if you can, be on your fingertips, stay here. You can also come lower, or you can crawl up on this right leg to find a balance. So try to stretch through the back of the right side, pinching up the hips, sending the right leg towards the back. Sitting our left hip slightly forward. As you keep leaning forward, deeper into the stretch, keep tucking in that belly button, the spine, and lengthening through the crown of the head. And one more breath. And exhale, cry yourself up to where it feels comfortable for you. Let's gently push ourselves back up into a lunge. Bring the right leg to meet the left in plank. And then send the hips up towards the sky. Good. Again, relax the shoulders here. They kind of hike up to the ears a lot. If you need to bend the knees. Keep putting more pressure into the lower body. All right. Pedal out those feet. Relax. Bring them together. We're going to bring this left knee into our chest. And we're going to drop it down between the hands. Releasing the right knee down to the mat. Take a breath. Reach up to the sky. And exhale. Release. Arms down. Good. You can walk this right leg in if need be. Hands along your pelvis here. Let's tuck that tailbone. Squeeze in that right glute. And we're going to move back and forth. And put a different tension between the two sides. Again, and get more wall to one side than the other. Right. Again, release your squeeze in the right knee. Stretch that feels comfortable to you and stay here. Exhale, reach back to center with that right arm. Open up the front of your feet.
position. Okay, so plant those hands down to the mat. Walk that left foot out towards the edge of the mat. Hands come down to the floor. Let's extend through those right toes into a nice low lunge. You can stay here or you can keep grounded on that knee. Just kind of feeling out. Front of the hip. Driving through that right heel. Leaning into that left leg. Relaxing the shoulders. Really pushing through the hands to help your core stabilize you here. One more breath here together. Exhale, drop the right knee. Flip the foot up. Left toes to the ceiling. Basically along the mat or crawl down to your hands or forearms wherever you're at. Or come up on your back and find some balance here. Keep your hands up and be nice and flat. Just do a beautiful stretch along the hamstring, maybe even along the calf. If you have any pain, you can soften that leg. Lengthening through the spine. Imagine the string on the top of your head being pulled towards the front of your shoulder. And on the exhale, extend those hands, push through, bring that left knee back, the left leg back to the right, into a plank, breathe in, lift the hips, downward dog. Okay, let's get some movement here on that side. So just swing your legs up and around, shifting your hips down, bend the knees, find whatever works for you. And release. Walk with your feet up to your hands if need be. You can bend the knees. And crawl up to the side. Take your breath in. Then on the exhale, bend the knees, squeeze the glutes, and rise back. And exhale, bend the knees, come forward. And let's go back one down again. Just to all fours. Open those knees nice and wide. We're going to bring the bottoms of our feet. Together, toes will touch, and then extend our arms out in front of us. Releasing our hips into our heels, relaxing in child's pose. Here, then lift the two hands, come back up to all fours. We're going to do a thread the needle. Let's lift our left arm up above our head. Exhale, tuck underneath. Breathe in and lift. Exhale, tuck. Breathe in and lift. And on this exhale, allow the back of the left arm to come down to the mat. Right arm can extend out up in front of you. And release the left side of your face down towards the As you breathe in, send the breath towards the left upper back and the shoulder. Allow it to soften into the mat. One more breath here. On the exhale, take this right hand, gently push yourself up, and counteract that hand to the forward. 
Good. Put the left arm down. Same thing on the right side. Let's rotate up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tuck underneath. Breathe in and rotate. Exhale, tuck. And one more breathe in, rotate. And exhale, tuck the back of the right arm down to the mat. Same here, or bringing the left arm up and extend it above the head. Placing the right side of the face on the mat. Breathing in to loosen up the right upper back and shoulder. And breathing out to soften into that mat, allowing gravity to do the work. One more breath here. On the exhale, crawl the left hand down and gently push yourself up, counteracting this pose. Just up the right arm and come on down. And we're going to flip on to a nice seated pose here. Pull up on your sit bones. We're going to bring one arm across and then cross over, right elbow. Tucks along the left and pull that arm across. Even deeper. Back and out to the side. Back and forth. A few rotations in the shoulder. And switch on the right. Good, release and pull across again. Breathing in, feeling the back of the body and the thoracic, open up. And exhale, relax your shoulders and neck back down. If you'd like to, you can join along with closing your eyes. Left arm out to the side, and get some bigger circles this time. Start clockwise or counterclockwise, and then we'll switch. Nice and big. Good. Time for the right side. Bring the right arm across the body. Breathing in through the nose. Release, right arm to the side, baby circles, clockwise, and switch to counterclockwise. All right, bring that right arm across the chest once again, tucking with the left arm, breathing in, feeling the back of the body round, breathing out, relaxing the shoulders, neck. Breath. Exhale, open up that right arm. Big rotations here. And switch other way. Shrug the shoulders up towards the ears, pinching a little bit of sensation between the ears and the shoulders. And exhale, forcefully through the mouth. Good. Inhale and hold. Look up through the spine. Exhale forcefully. Good. Two more just like that. Inhale. Drawing all the toxins from the body and exhale, releasing them. Inhale and pull. Hold. 
and exhale. Good. All right. Let's release the feet. Bottoms of the feet are going to come together. We're going to bring the knees up into a butterfly and rock back and forth. Gently release legs out in front of you into a nice straddle, coming to a width that feels comfortable. Once you get there, pull up on your sit bones and level out. Bring those toes towards your face. We're going to flex from the hips, gently leaning forward. Coming down to the hands, fingertips, forearms, legs. And the whole back of the body release here. Your feet and your toes if you'd like, or just let them come neutral. Take one last breath, and on the exhale, you're going to crawl yourself up. Place the left forearm on the inside of the leg or on top. And then take a breath, reach up and over with that right arm into the right side. Try to move the right elbow to the ear. As your right hip wants to lift with you, Keep gluing it down to the floor, feel elongating through the side body. One last breath in the and exhale, sweep that right arm down towards the floor. Coming back up. Good. Inhale, bring the right forearm to the floor or leg, and exhale, reach up and over with the left side, keeping this left hand nice and glued. Inviting the side bend to open up the left rib cage, the left quadrant to the forearm. And exhale, sweep that right arm across, and then back up to the floor. Then you bring those legs in straight in front of you, or cross legs up to you. We're going to drop our right ear down towards our right shoulder. Inhale, take a breath. Exhale, left shoulder. Inhale, exhale, sinking with the breath back. As you come neutral, allow your chin to come down to your chest, sweep across, back and forth like a pendulum. And then we're going to take our left arm behind our back, allowing our gaze to look down into our right armpit, feeling the opening of the left shoulder and the left side of the neck. As you breathe in, allow the breath to travel down the left side. If you'd like, you can gently pull on that side of the head with your right hand. Sit up nice and tall. One more breath. And on the exhale, release the chin across your chest. Same thing. Swing like a pendulum. Coming neutral. Let's tuck the right arm behind our back, opening up that shoulder. Look down towards the left armpit. Breathing in and exhale out of the gravity to push down on that right side. Really giving a gentle pull here. Inhale to open and exhale to soften and ground through those hips. One more breath and exhale, sweep that chin across your chest. Very gently stack one for a at a time until looking straight ahead. Thank you so much, guys. That was Rise and Restore for today. I enjoyed all of you coming to class today, and I bless you during the rest of the week.